I have two sons with CF, uh, Jonathan, who's age 19 at Colorado College, and Andrew, who's uh, 21, who's going to be a graduating senior this year at Whitman College. And the story we were given when they were born is that they would have died by now, uh, about 18 years old. In 1980, when the average child with CF, and I say child, died at about 12 to 13 years of age. It was very rare for me to see a child graduate from high school or to go to college. Now the average lifespan has extended to 37 to 38 years of life. So I regularly now have patients graduate from college, become professionals, become parents. It is a totally different disease. Science is an interesting thing because the, the breakthroughs come so infrequently. When scientists smell a breakthrough, you know, something's coming, it's sort of this momentum that builds, and that's what's happening in CF today. We understand the basic defect, made a tremendous amount of progress, and because of that work in the last 20 years, we've given a year back of life to everybody in the world with CF. Today we have, thankfully, several drugs under development that will treat the basic defect of this disease, and as sure as I sit here, I think it'll be cured in the next 20 years. Everybody should be participating in some kind of giving at some level. There's always a way to, to find a way to get back, and hopefully everybody can do that.